Hi, this is Kimberly Knox, connecting you with weekly success tips where I guide and motivate you on how to connect with the current astrological energy and how you can best utilize it in your daily life. I've decided to do some special segments, one on Venus and one on Mercury. This month is hugely important and we're wrapping up this very important year, the year of the horse, the year of the horse in this year with cardinal um, cardinal are the planets of action and we had this grand cardinal cross in April and we have these eclipses in cardinal signs big changes are underway but in the year of the horse it promised us purpose passion possibility quick changes because things are happening quickly we need to be centered in our value that's why Venus is so important to know who you are to know what you want and Venus has been guiding us in making decisions that will help us build foundations to carry us into the future to also align with what Saturn in Scorpio has been asking us to get figured out the last two years where it got into Scorpio October 6 2012 so think back to what was going on the beginning of October relationships who we're merging with who we've given our power away who we've attracted into our life is it working? Is it not? We've had two years to, to take a look at that. Take a look at who we are and what we want to build for the future and, and who we want to merge with because you know that who you hang around is who you become. Do you want to upgrade all of that? Do you want to become something more magnificent? And <clears throat> to do that, you need to focus on yourself. So you can never change anything that's going on. You can't change anyone around you. You can only change your response to what's going on and you can only upgrade from within so that your own vibration attracts to you higher quality people, things, places, money, love, everything. So those planets that are related to manifestation, the secret, Venus is our sister planet. It's closest to us outside of the moon. And then we have Mercury. Mercury, which is closest to the sun. The sun is the source, the CEO, what we're trying to become. <clears throat> and Mercury rules our thoughts. Thoughts are things. Thoughts, the words that you spew out of your mouth, exudes how you feel about yourself and what you're attracting. So when you see people that are constantly gossiping or talking about other people, there's something inside that's being deflected upon. So really it needs to go within and upgrade those thoughts, upgrade what you're thinking and talking about because it's gonna bring you better results. It's going to change your vibration. It's gonna help attract people to you on a higher level and get you better results and manifest uh, higher quality in love, money, uh, career, health, everything because what you're thinking also affects your body. So Mercury retrograde, some of you have heard about it. It's really nothing to fear. It's an amazing, important time. Mercury is like the messenger of the Zodiac. It's the little boy. Like if you think about the son as the CEO, think about the son as the father. And if you have a child or a little boy that runs off in front and the father whistles, hey, get back here. The son's gone too far. Well, <clears throat> Mercury gets too far in front of the sun and it's got to come back and connect with the source. So Mercury is what we need information to make decisions. Mercury rules our commerce. It rules all tech technology. It rules, so around today, uh, it rules also um, cars. It rules traffic. It rules um, communication. It rules planes, schedules, how we're speaking to others. You may have found already today that you're running into people from the past. Things come back for reevaluation. Things, people, places, um, transactions in business that you've been uh, trying to get to come together come back. Uh, maybe big business deals, uh, people from the past come back so that you can reevaluate. Uh, things break down that need to be fixed because we just didn't see them before. So, really, one cool thing that you can do to put for Mercury retrograde is to put the uh, RE in front of anything like reevaluate, um, re examine, um, uh, repair. I mean, so it's basically about a time of adjustments. So, the first few, uh, like, 
week and a half, so it's about first 10 to 11 days of this retrograde time, are the most revealing. And then we kind of digest that information. So let me just kind of recap. Three times a year this happens. So it's been happening once Mercury gets into a water sign, and water signs about emotion and connection and this deep passion or vision. So in February, February 5th to February 27th, we had a Mercury retrograde. Mercury gets into the, to the sign of Pisces, which is about inspiration and our dreams. But it doesn't quite connect with Neptune, which would brought us to that higher octave of, of uh, this is like an entrepreneurial insight. This is like, wow, deep, um, deep connection. So that we're bringing some dream to form. And, uh, but it has to go back into Aquarius. So we're being inventive and, and, and reaching out and connecting with other people and social groups and to help us get that information. So that was all going on <clears throat> at that time. Mercury was also connecting with the, with the planet Saturn. It says, hey, you need to get serious here. Um, you need to have a plan. And where are you going with all of this? And how does that fit into where you're going long term and that's what Saturn is. Saturn is our responsibility and what we're planning and building for the future. We're building something big here and all of the planets are getting involved because manifestation cannot happen without some key things. That's our thoughts and that's our desires and our heart. What's in our heart? And that's what the last video was all about Venus. <clears throat> what do you desire? What are you connected with? What makes you authentic? What are you passionate about? So uh, in June, we had Mercury retrograding from the 7th to July 1st. That was, <clears throat> it gets into the sign of cancer, which is talking about how we feel secure. Family, what makes us feel comfortable? These are emotions. Emotion is very powerful. It helps us connect with people at a different level. People lacking in any signs of, emo of, of the water signs will, will be lacking in that kind of empathy, compassion. So it goes back into Gemini where we're making connections and communicating, working on how we speak and talk and think. And now we've got today, Mercury went retrograde. Okay, so it's um, in the early signs of Scorpio. So in Scorpio, this is serious. This is serious about mergers, business, connections, where we're going and it's going to slip back into Libra because we need some more information and connections with relationships. How do we relate to other people in fair and balanced ways? This entire month is about Libra and Libra is about <clears throat> being united. It doesn't really have anything to do with the heart um, as much as Leo. Leo is all about the heart. Leo is heart energy and it's just exuding from them. Um, Libra is about being doing things with other people though and it is about our relationships all relationships though and it's venus ruled just like taurus is venus rule but taurus rules our talents and our value what we take to the market to make money because taurus wants results for their efforts they want monetary results for their efforts and you'll see that rules money so if we don't have our values in line and how we feel about ourselves and, and our talents and, and centered in that, how can we have fair and balanced relationships? That's the whole Taurus, Libra, and Venus uh, story there. But so we're, uh, we're getting ready. Mercury's last uh, big aspect was it was opposing Uranus. And this was on the day that Mercury went into its shadow, September the 13th. So... There is some insight there because Uranus transcends us. It breaks us free, breaks out of the mold. It's very inventive and um, it's about invention and it's about uh, innovation. So, so we're getting some sparks of ideas here. And, and what we need to do is now in Libra, it's, not, it's about who do we need to connect with to help make this all work and we'll, how are our relationships going? So we will see that we're going to get to the midway point of this Mercury retrograde, and this is going to happen on October the 16th. Mercury meets uh, with the sun, and we get this aha moment. Like we have some clarity about what's happening and what all of this means, all this information. So pay attention now, October 4th through the 16th. Pay attention to the messages that you're getting, people that you're meeting. If things break down, just fix them. Uh, it's really, it's not a time to invest 
in anything mechanical, no cars, no high-tech equipment. Do not buy your iPhone, your iPad, your, your stuff, because they might not, it's just, it's not a good time to do that because it doesn't support technology right now. It supports getting more information. Business deals, you're reevaluating, but things are happening. You're getting the information you need. So October 16th just happens to be the day before Mercury and Venus come together. So, you know, there's a lot of information about talking about what we want. Um, and then uh, Mercury is going to go direct on the exact day, October 25th, that Venus and Sun come together. There's some big messages coming out. We're going to know, we're going to know the direction that we want to go in October the 25th, which is fantastic. So when Mercury gets back, uh, to the point that it went retrograde, then you know we can start to integrate that more. But also, when Mercury meets with the Sun again by direct motion, it's going to be December the 8th. And this is right after the full moon, which is the beginning of, of the month. And this is when we get the results. We see the results of this whole Mercury retrograde. And it's really nice because it's the week before our, our <clears throat> six square of Uranus and Pluto in the sky, which are pushing us forward in new ways, bringing new foundations into our life, new innovative parts of ourself that are trying to come out. Who are you? What is the authentic part of you that you are bringing forth and transforming in new ways? The next day, Venus is visible in the evening sky, so she's ready to go forward. And this is just such a powerful way to end the year, and I just, you need to pay attention and stay at the highest level of all of this energy. Do not get trapped in fear because Venus, when it meets up with a lot of, we'll see, you know, through this eclipse, this eclipse is bringing surprises. Surprise can be also uh, big weather disasters, things like that. So around um, uh, the total eclipse, which is next week, which is the October the 8th, 9th and 10th, look at it, there can be great surprises. It's a way to break out and to see your future, how it can open up in new ways, because that's what this year has been promising us. So really just stay attentive to that and look to the future, because Saturn is telling us, please let go of some things in your life that no longer suit you. Go watch the movie Gone, Gone Girl or girl gone, whatever, which one it is. A guy is trapped in a relationship, and it's just, that is the worst, it becomes the worst situation. That's not what relationships are meant to be about. Relationships are meant to bring you up, make you the best you can possibly be, support you in being who you want to become in very positive ways. And that's the new paradigm of relationships here and manifesting goodness in your life. So that's Mercury retrograde. Get excited for it. Get prepared. Just pay attention and make the best of it because opportunities are coming. Don't sign any big contracts. Just wait. If you have to sign a contract, you may have to redo it. But after the uh, 25th would be much better. Reach out to me at kk at kimberly-knox.com. I'm happy to do private consult for you where you're going to get powerful insight into your own chart, which is a snapshot of the moment you were born. It's a mathematical picture, and it's incredible for you to learn deeper self-knowledge about yourself so that you have more compassion and love for you, because that's where, when you love yourself, everything falls into place for getting the best intentions, goals for your health, your career, and for love. Have a wonderful Saturday.